Hello and welcome to Cooking Technique Tuesday. So I am off camera. Um, you know, I've been sick with bronchitis for a few weeks and then last week I threw my back out because I sneezed. And that is what happens when you turn 40. So uh, I'm still a little hunched over, look a little weird. And uh, so I thought I'm just gonna stay off camera for this one, but I'm excited to share this. This is a nice, easy one. And it's from the Easy Everyday Cookbook. Don't forget to use the code LaurenD10 at checkout to save 10 bucks off $50 or more. We are doing a nice salad pasta with Greek vinaigrette. So I've got all of my ingredients over here. I'm about to cook the pasta off. And this is what the finished product is gonna look like. So I thought this would be nice. You know, it's getting warm everywhere. Um, so I thought it'd be great for the summer months. And I do have some tomatoes over here. I'm gonna do my little tomato trick here in just a moment. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and cook the pasta. And I will see you back here in just a moment. Alrighty, so while my pasta is cooking, and what I'm gonna do is once it's done, I'm gonna rinse it with cold water, because we are gonna be putting it with salad greens, we don't want those to wilt too much. Uh, and again, we want this to be a nice refreshing summer salad. So, uh, to cut the tomatoes in half very quickly, uh, I, we really don't need too many tomatoes for this, so I kind of moved them all over to one side, but basically, I'm making a Ziploc sandwich with my tomatoes. So, I've got, you know, there's a little dip in there. I'm gonna put it like that, and as you can see, we got the tomatoes in there. So now I'm gonna take a serrated knife. That's the one with the little teeth. You didn't see that. There we go, a little watermark. Um, so this is nice and sharp, be careful. But basically what I'm gonna do is use the Tupperware as a guide. And I'm just gonna do a little sawing motion back and forth. There we go. And very easily sliced tomatoes. So I'm gonna go finish up with the pasta and then we're gonna make the salad dressing and put it all together. See you in a minute. Alrighty, so actually my pasta still has a couple minutes. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and make the dressing. So I've got my garlic. And if a little gets caught in the whisk, not a big deal because we're gonna whisk this all. Oop. Get every last little bit of garlic. I've got oregano. I've got whoop, red wine vinegar. And I also have some olive oil. I know it doesn't look like a lot of dressing, but you know what we're gonna do? We, when when it's all dressed, uh, we are going to, uh, or sorry, when we're going to dress the greens and the pasta and everything, we're gonna use our hands uh, because I always feel like that's actually the easiest way to distribute the dressing. And we really don't need that much. I'm gonna add Dijon mustard here. And Dijon actually acts as an emulsifier. So when I go ahead and combine everything, the oil and the vinegar are gonna to stick together a little bit easier. And I also wanna put some salt and pepper. And as you can see, it is super easy to make your own salad dressing. So I'm gonna put a little, sa uh, a little salt. I know that looks like a lot. Don't be afraid to season unless your doctor told you otherwise. And then I've got some fresh cracked pepper. I'm gonna whisk that together. While my pasta is finishing, I'm gonna let this kind of meld together, let the salt kind of, you know, break down a little bit, but I am gonna taste it really quickly because when we're making stuff, we always wanna taste. Mm, mm hmm very light, very easy, and plenty of salt. So I'm gonna go actually finish the pasta now and I'll see you in a minute. Alrighty, so we are back. I've got my dressing. I'm going to go ahead and add the pasta. And I'm gonna add the salad greens. I know this looks like a lot, but it will break down a little bit. And I'm actually just gonna reuse this bowl that the greens were in for presentation. I'll go ahead and put the red onions in there, my tomatoes, and then use one of your best tools, your hand. So I really wanna make sure and kind of get the, the greens, not, I don't wanna use the word wilted necessarily, but just gonna kind of toss it as you can see, starting to get a little, little, little dressing everywhere. But we definitely wanna make sure that the pasta is dressed because what we don't want to do is have pasta that sticks together. So one of my chefs uh, always said um, that our hands are our best tools. So when I dress salads and even when I worked in restaurants and would dress salads, I always used my hands. Although usually I would use a glove if I was cooking for the public, but this is my dinner. 
And you can actually add some protein to this. I think shrimp would be amazing. Um, I have some rotisserie chicken in my fridge, so that's actually what I am going to use. Alrighty, and then let me bring my bowl back over. Smells really good. The dressing turned out really nice and easy too, as you could see when we were making it. And I want a decent amount of the pasta up top, just for presentation purposes. Whoop, see, there we go. Also with your hands, you get every little bit coming to you. So, here we go. Alrighty, now I've got my feta. And I'm gonna save a little bit for plating, but there we go. Really quick, really easy. I'm gonna eat some pasta. Mm, mm-hmm. Try it with a little leaf. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can't get any easier than this. So, easy everyday cookbook. Tell me if you end up making it. I hope everyone enjoys it, and we will see you next Cooking Technique Tuesday.